Hey guys, welcome to another high intensity interval training. Uh, this mini workout is going to focus mainly on the lower half of your body. It's going to be very intense. Be prepared for it to burn. We are gonna start out with our 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off workout. We have four different exercises and we're gonna go two times through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with two narrow jump squats. We're gonna jump over an object. I have a little hurdle down here, but you can use whatever you have handy at your house. Um, and we're gonna do two narrow jump squats on each side of the bar. Next, we're going to go into jack squats. Now, I know these burn. They are so effective. You're gonna love them. Uh, then we go into four plank ups and four crab reaches. And then lastly, we go into five rocket lunges and 10 mountain climbers. So we have four exercises, two times through. It's gonna burn, it's gonna be awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have my timer set here for 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna start with those narrow jump squats. You guys ready? Ready? And go. So we have two narrows. I like to tap the ground and then jump over. Two narrows on the other side. Now, I don't care if you're getting an inch off the ground or a foot off the ground. Just make sure you are jumping back and forth. 50 seconds of work. Whew. Start to breathe a little bit. Really get that blood moving through your body. Whew. We are sitting straight down into the hips. Think about sitting down into your heels. 15 seconds. Keep it going. Not tired yet. We have a long way to go. That's it. Seven seconds. Almost there. All the way. Okay. Next drill. Jack squats. Love these. So we're going to get really low. Do a jump jack in a squat position. Let's do it. So you're bouncing on your toes. You're going in and out and your hips are as low as they can go. Make sure you're breathing. Nice and quick. This should incorporate the cardio aspect. Your heart should be pounding right now. That's it, keep going. Try to sink a little bit deeper into the buns. 20 seconds. Keep it up, guys. I know your body's gonna wanna lift up, but we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna get down low. Five seconds. Quick and lower. Two, one. And onto our arms. We have four plank ups, four crab reaches. Using our body weight only. So we go into a plank position. Down and up. Four of them. And then flip over and reach for the opposite toes. Drive the hips up. Four plank ups. Flip over, four crab reaches. Think about kicking your toes up. Halfway. Drive out of the hips. Drive out of the pelvis. Almost there. Keep it going. Finish this one at least. Whew. That felt good. Now we go into five rocket lunges, 10 mountain climbers in five seconds. Three, go. Control that knee as it goes down. Four. Five, get down, 10 mountain climbers. Pop back up, five rocket lunges. Think about engaging the core. This is gonna stabilize your body. 20 seconds. Pop on up, let's do this. All the way, this is the last exercise of the first round. Woo, getting a little wobbly. Woo. 
and rest. Okay, second set now. Starting with a narrow jump squat. Okay, let's begin. Sink the hips low. Sink down into the buns. We're not going forward, we're going back. You should be able to lift your toes if you wanted to. Keep it up halfway. You guys are strong. You'll get there. You'll make it. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Jacks. I know that heart is pounding. It's gonna get even better. Let's go. Hips low. Stay with me, guys. Stay strong. Bouncing on the toes. Get those hips as low as you can. Think about sitting back into the butt. Tilt the booty back and really go for it. Go as fast as you can. Come on, can we go even lower? Let's bend our knees a little bit more. Woo, 15 seconds. Woo, seven. And rest, okay, arms now. Plank ups, four plank ups. And go. Engage the core. Pull the belly up into your spine. And then flip over and reach for the toes. Drive the pelvis up. It's a great time to control the breath. 20 seconds left. Is the, are those hips down? Is the core engaged? Drive, lift, squeeze. Five seconds. And rest. Awesome job, we have one more exercise. We have five rocket lunges and 10 mountain climbers. Whew, let's do this, guys. Control those knees. Get the hips all the way down. Step all the way back. I know you're wobbly. You're feeling very weak. Push through the weakness. Push through that pain. We only have 15 seconds. and work on strength. I'm resetting the timer for 20 seconds. 20 seconds. We're gonna go through four exercises and then rest. Whew. Catch that breath. Okay, so the first drill is TikTok abs. Take your arms out wide, point through the toes, and control side to side. And then we go into a reverse crunch. Take your hands by your hips. Lift up through the pelvis. Lower down halfway, don't go down all the way. Then lift and back down. Then we go into field goals. Open up the toes, reach overhead, and then tap the heels. Back out, 
tap the heels. Last breathe out, Pilates pulse. Always the best. We push down through the belly, heels are lifted, and chin lifts up to the ceiling as well. So, four exercises. We rest, and we do it again two more times. Three sets all together. Uh, let's get that core burn. Tick tock out, side to side. Two, one, and go. Legs are long, knees are locked out, and we reach through the toes. Really control through your obliques, through the side of your waist. We are eliminating love handles. We are eliminating those outer thigh problems, any cellulite, any fat. Now we take our hands by our hips, slow control down, drive up. Be nice and controlled. Control. Field goals now, reach overhead, lift up, tap the heels. It's just 20 seconds. I like to exhale as I come up. And then feel or pull out his pulse. This is the hard one. It's the best one. Push down through the core. I want no space to remain underneath your spine. Pump. Pump those arms as if your life depends on it. You got it. Keep going. And rest. One set done. Two more to go. Use this period to really rest, to breathe, to recover, so you can push all the harder on the next one. Five seconds and we'll go TikTok abs again. So prepare, come down on the mat, reach up the toes, and take it outside to side. Control. That's what the theme of this ab series is, control. Think about coming about an inch off the mat with those toes. Now don't bend the knees. Take your hands by the hips and reverse, reverse crunch. Lift. Especially control the lower spine as you lower those heels down. Make sure you push the small of your back into the mat. And then open up, feel those reach for your heels. No bend in the knees. Starting to feel the burn. And pull out his pulse. Push down through that core. Lift up through the chin. Lift through the shoulders. Now if you need to, you can lower a heel, but try to keep them up. Try to be strong and finish this exercise. Almost there. Keep going, guys. Awesome. You guys are amazing. We only have one more set to go. Take some nice, deep, deep breaths. One more. Let's push even harder than the last ones. We have five seconds. Start with the TikTok, side to side. Come on, guys. It's only a minute, but a little over. But you guys are going to have that nice, sleek, sexy core that you've always dreamed of. And you are going to be ready for bikini season in two months. Just because you are pushing so hard right here. Reverse, take it down, lift, drive up with the hips, controlled and strong. Almost there, keep it going. Now open up and reach for the heels. Push through the fire, push through the pain, and get it done. And pull out his pulse, this is to end. 20 seconds left. Come on, push that lower spine down. Do not give up. In fact, pump harder. Pump those hard arms with even more intensity. Come on, flex. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Woo! We are done with core. We're gonna end with slow side kicks. In 10 seconds. So with our slow side kicks, we're gonna come into a side uh, plank position, pull the knee in, and push out with the heel. We got three seconds left. And go, pull it in, and push out. Nice and controlled. Feel the crunch right here through the core. So it's not only for your legs, it's also for the waist. Now in three seconds, we're gonna hold it out and lift as high as you can. Squeeze the hips, squeeze the butt, engage the core. Now we're also pulling back through our toes. Notice how I'm flexing my toes back. It's gonna engage the entire leg. It's gonna really tighten all those muscles. Two, one, let's flip sides. Switch to the other side, pull it in and out. Again, core is engaged. We're pushing out through the heel and we're pulling our toes backward. And hold. Really tighten that core. The more you think about a muscle group, the more you're gonna contract it. The more calories you're gonna burn because of it. So think about your core. Engage. Think about that hip. Squeeze. We're gonna do this two times total on each side. So let's flip. This is the last time this leg. Really lift that heel up. Don't let it lower. We're not going into the ground with this. We're going up as high as we can go. Five more seconds. Great, now hold. This is the last hold, so I want you to take little circles going forward. Squeeze that hip, and little circles going forward. Good, now go back, little circles going backward. This is to end, three, two, one. Last side, switch, last leg here, in and out. Less than a minute of the workout left. You can make it, you can get through it. Lift that heel up as high as you can. Take it out, little circles, forward circles. Circle that leg, it's only about six inches of movement. We are almost there, guys. Take it back. Squeeze back. So close to being done. Come on, push it, guys. Almost there. And rest. You guys did a wonderful job today. It's only about 15 minutes of workout. I am pouring sweat. You should be too. If you're not, do it again and do it even more. Do it even more intensity next time. Now, we should have this out. Next week as well, I want you to do this workout three times this week, next workout three times next week, and then maybe we can push it to four. Have a great day.